up, Libra? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, guys. If you need a personal reading, feel free to get a hold of me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to contact me on other social media. I'm everywhere under the same name. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you're single, single, make sure you also check out the singles readings. Those are done monthly and mid-monthly, usually. Guys, I will also put up um, a bonus Halloween reading here in a couple days where we go into messages from deceased loved ones, spirit guides, ancestors, all that. So if that's your thing, look out for that. All right, guys, here we go. You yourself are coming in this week in the sun, Knight of Wands energy. So happy as shit, Libra. This is great. Um, happiest card in the deck. With the Knight of Wands, this is about you being really like adventurous, spontaneous, passionate, sexed up. <laughs> it's like you're having a whole lot of fun here. Just going after what it is that you want. What it is that you're attracted to. It's not serious energy by any means. It's just fun. <laughs> but it is fun. Alright, let's see. What's this about? Five of Wands. Is somebody mad? Is somebody mad because you're not being serious enough? What? Is somebody jealous because you're having so much fun? Who cares? You are just in a place where I don't think you care and you shouldn't. Justice, look at you. Oh my gosh, coming up in your own reading. So this is the thing. People can be pissed. People can be jealous that you're having fun, that you're just doing whatever the fuck you want. Um, but who cares? You're being yourself. You're being your whole self. You're in your power. You're having fun or you will be. That's your mindset. Um, you're just trying to be happy. You know, if other people want to get mad, oh fucking well. Knight of Wands again. You've got double Knight of Wands. I think that you're just out there, you know, doing your thing. And people are like, what the fuck is wrong with Libra? Why is Libra acting that way? Like a child. <laughs> Fuck them, Libra. All right, recent past, Knight of Pentacles. So I don't think this is where you're at now. You might be dealing with somebody that's in that energy. You might be dealing with somebody who um, wants a commitment and you're just having fun. <laughs> this, is, this is the energy of moving towards a commitment, but slowly being real cautious. Or, you know, you might have been in this energy in the past where you're just like, you were afraid to take chances and now you're not. Now in your present, you have the two of wands. So, it's going down a new path. Pick your path. Going in a different direction here. Let's see what this is about. I will put your energy with the different signs at the end, guys. All right. Why is the Two of Wands here for Libra? Ten of Swords. So I think that there's something here where there was like a painful ending that you went through or the person that you're dealing with went through and it is causing you to go down a whole different path. Um, and I think because of that, you're just kind of like, you're being very lighthearted, not serious, just trying to be happy, just trying to have fun, you know? And the chariot cancer you might have even moved or you are moving um because of some kind of an ending somewhere it might have caused you to have to move go down like a whole different path in your life this is a really repetitive reading but whatever page of cups so it's you're moving forward though like in a big way moving forward page of cups is a new new emotion coming in though so here's the thing you're trying to just kind of keep it fun surface level whatever um but there's somebody here with actual feelings 
Now it's new, it doesn't have to be that deep, but there are actual feelings here for somebody, potentially a cancer. The Emperor, wow, Aries. Divine masculine, divine counterpart. I think that somebody is coming in for you or is there already and you're just not, not about it. Um, I think somebody's coming in for you that is your divine counterpart and you're gonna be like, um, <laughs> maybe a little closed off emotionally at first because like I keep saying, you're just trying to just do you, have fun, learn how to be happy, learn how to have fun. Um, where this person, they're gonna want more than that. You know, up to you, I guess, see how it goes, whatever. But this is somebody who, they're legit. They're not, they're not full of shit. They're grown, potentially older than you. Uh, but they want the whole deal. They could be somebody who maybe is a parent already, but if they are, they're a good parent. They, this isn't somebody who's a shitty parent. This is somebody who takes care of everything. Um, you know, this could be you in that energy. But it's about taking control of your life and the direction that you want it to go. Now, your potential obstacle is a Ten of Pentacles. So money could be a potential issue here. It could also just be settling down. Somebody might not be sure if they want to settle down, if they want to commit, which I've been saying anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see what's up with it. Why is Ten of Pentacles here as an obstacle for Libra? Three of Cups. Hmm. And the Moon. There could be um, some third party shit here, but if there is, it looks to be hidden with this Moon energy here. It could be a Pisces involved, but it looks to be hidden. Um, there could be issues with friends, family, you might feel like you wouldn't get along with this person's family. This isn't somebody that maybe you could see yourself with long term. <sighs> could be that. In your immediate future though, guys, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things turning around for you. Obstacles being cleared, you know. Um, and if you are having any kind of financial issues here that's turning around with that wheel of fortune and with the emperor right there if you're somebody i know this is love but i gotta say it if you're somebody who um has your own business or is considering starting one it would be a good time for you to do that nine of swords there's stress there's anxiety but things are turning around like the stress the anxiety it's being cleared might just need to take care of yourself or you're dealing with somebody who does. They need to get a handle on their emotions. Huh, that's funny. The Nine of Pentacles, I was just talking about if you're somebody who has your own business or um, is thinking of starting your own business, that's, that's like independently wealthy type of energy. It is very single, very independent but it's not somebody who has to be single, it's somebody who's cool being single. So there's not gonna be any kind of codependency here. If you get into something serious with this person, it's not gonna be because you need anything from them. And that's not their intention either. All right, um, your advice is the page of wands. This is about just going for it. This is exactly where you're at. Um, it's going after something that you're passionate about, something that you are attracted to. The full Aries, you've got double Aries in this reading. And this is about jumping right in, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, telling somebody that you think they're fucking hot or something because 
this isn't really about feelings right now. It's really just about attraction so far. Oh my goodness, and the Ten of Cups, but it looks like it could be. So this little attraction that you have going on, this whatever's happening for you, um, if you take a chance on it, if you kind of just like go for it, it really could end up in that Ten of Cups. It really could be that whole happy ending, even if that's not your goal, your intention. It could go there. The potential's there. Okay, let's get you some oracles and then we'll get you in the other signs. What does Libra need to hear this week? What are you guys being for Halloween? Let me know in the comments. Okay, what does Libra need to hear this week? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, I'm going to grab this deck. Um, this is like if you have somebody in mind and you guys aren't on speaking terms and you want to know how they feel, or maybe you are and they're just not somebody that talks about their feelings. This is what they would say to you if they could. So whoever's on your mind, Libra, take a deep breath, focus on that person. person have to say to Libra my life is not as together as it seems finding out the truth crushed me okay well let's get you in the other signs you've got double Aries like I said you've got yourself you've got cancer oh my gosh as I was saying you've got cancer the sign oh my gosh that sounds awful um and I think that's it for majors oh no Pisces I forgot Pisces Cancer Aries Libra okay Libra Libra dealing with Aries what do we got poor communication um you guys probably aren't even talking if you are the communication is trash Libra and Taurus it's not the right time for you guys. There's too many things standing in the way. Libra and Gemini. So they do want to move forward with you. They're just taking it real slow. But they are looking for actual commitment. Libra and Cancer. There's conflict, drama, fighting, whatever. You guys don't get along really well. Libra and Leo. Forward movement. Um, so this... This could be a long distance thing, but if it is, one of you is going to move towards the other one. There's forward movement here, either physically or metaphorically. Libra dealing with Virgo. Um, you could have a Virgo stalking your social media, asking about you, whatever, but they have something that they need to say, some kind of truth. Libra and Libra. That's done, done. No more. Libra and Scorpio. So that is worth putting the effort into. Um, it can grow, except it's going to take a lot of work. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Libra, Sagittarius, lots of love. They are emotionally mature, compassionate, available, emotionally intelligent. They really have their emotions under control and they're not afraid to talk about them. Um, actual feelings there. Libra and Capricorn, they are somebody who's definitely just looking for sex and they probably aren't even going to be that nice about it. Libra and Aquarius, so you're either going to find out something about them, some kind of lie, some kind of hidden something, um, or they're going to confess something. Libra and Pisces, they are stressed the hell out. Um, 
anxiety, depression, they can't sleep, they can't eat over something that's going on with you or happened with you. Okay. All right, you guys, take care. Thank you for being here.